I started my career in software sales three years ago as a sales development representative. Throughout my experiences, I've made over 40,000 cold calls. That's my fun fact, by the way. I've been aligned to dozens of different reps throughout my organization of all levels of experience. I've been able to promote from SDR to account executive, therefore tripling my income. I've seen what works. I've seen what doesn't work. I haven't missed my quota in over two and a half years. You can go check out my LinkedIn page for verification. And in today's video, I am outlining the six things all great salespeople do. Bonus tip number one, if you're in sales, hit the like button now. I want as many other salespeople to see this video as possible. It helps me, it helps the channel, and I would really appreciate it. In all seriousness, the number one thing all great salespeople do is that they take ownership for everything in their worlds. A lot of people talk about things being out of their control. The one commonality in sales is that it's a meritocracy. You are paid for performance. It's easy to come in and make excuses as to why things happen or don't happen. Oh, Jimmy has such a great territory. Oh, Sally has that one account that always seems to upgrade around the quarter term. It's easy to make excuses. Bottom line, great salespeople do not make excuses and they take ownership and responsibility for everything. Sales is an execution game and if you recognize that you have the ability to execute on pipeline generation, pipeline health, and your own self-development, you will find more success sooner rather than later. If you find yourself not hitting your number and you're making excuses as to why it didn't happen, that means you're not a great sales rep. Bottom line, so don't make excuses, take ownership for everything. The second trait all great salespeople have in common is that they are scrappy. Scrappy to me means rolling up the sleeves and finding a solution when you do not know the answer. In my sales job, each and every day, stressful situations present themselves. I have customers reaching out saying, Trent, my thing doesn't work. And I say, oh man, have you tried to contact support? And they say, yeah, I did. And then I realize, okay, no one else is gonna be able to find the answer besides me. I have to go find a way. You have to go find a way when you're prospecting. Scrappy means finding a way and finding that extra gear. When you think you've given everything, it's going to that next level and saying, okay, I'm pretty tired, it's Tuesday evening, I wanna to go to that happy hour with my friends, the NBA Finals is about to be on, but I'm gonna go find five to 10 more prospects to add into my sequence so that I can cold call them tomorrow and put myself in the best position possible to hit my weekly pipeline number. Being scrappy means going to that next place that you didn't think was possible. So anytime you're in doubt as to, hey, are you giving it your all? Make sure to be a little extra scrappy, go find an answer, don't just reach out to someone else. You know when a problem presents itself and you reach out to someone and say, oh, I don't know what the thing is and try to put it on someone else's plate, Find a way, find an answer, be scrappy, and you will find more success. The third thing all great salespeople do is that they subscribe to this channel. We've made consistent daily sales videos for over 200 days in a row. We've only missed 200 days. So if you're in sales, go ahead and subscribe to this channel now for all things sales. In reality, the third thing all great salespeople have in common is that they are experts. In sales, you are essentially paid to be an expert communicator and share a perspective with your customer, prospect, or client that helps them elevate their business. Of course, you have a product, solution, or service that you're selling. I'm selling software. And when I try and sell software, when I try and be feature heavy, that is impactful, but that's not as impactful as me selling you an outcome. I'm not selling you a solution to help with employee and HR feedback. I'm selling you a solution that helps you lower employee attrition because it helps the organization save money. All great salespeople are experts. They're experts because they know their space, they know their product, they know their industry, they know the competition, and they know what's going on in the market. So if you wanna be a great salesperson, you need to be an expert. An expert is someone that proactively goes and finds out their own knowledge, expertise, and they take accountability for their own careers because they recognize nobody is gonna care about your career more than you do. So go find the knowledge, go be an expert. The fourth trait all great salespeople have in common is that they help other people. As a salesperson, it's easy to feel like a lone wolf. I recently discovered that team selling was actually much more fun and impactful than trying to operate as a solo assassin, although I like to think of myself as a pipeline assassin sometimes. Anytime I'm in doubt, anytime I'm not really feeling like myself, I try and help somebody else, whether that's 
offering yourself up to mentor someone, whether that's going to speak to a team that needs help, whether that's just reaching out to a teammate and making them feel heard, acknowledging someone for their hard work. Go help other people because if you help other people, of course, it will help them and they will then be a fan of you. They will root for you and you're not helping other people with an ulterior motive of saying, okay, if I help you, then you owe me a favor. Help people because it's just the right thing to do and helping people makes me feel good and anytime I go and help somebody or a group or a large audience, it makes me feel good and it rejuvenates me. So go help somebody and also by helping other people, that's really the sign of true mastery. Being able to coach or teach someone else a process that you do really reinforces how great you are at it itself. So if you're a great prospector, Go help other people on how to find more success prospecting. It will help you as a prospector. It will help them. It will help the holistic company grow the pie. And it's just the right thing to do. The fifth trait all great salespeople have is that they operate with urgency. This is one of the key factors that separated me in my own sales career. Anytime somebody emails me, I get back to them instantly. As soon as I see it, I get back to them. Anytime I have an internal message, I can tell based on the way a colleague responds back to me or how I respond to them, for example, I can just tell how that conversation goes, how much they care and how much urgency they have. This is one of the things that really separates me is that burning desire to operate with urgency. You don't wanna be in a hurry. You don't wanna make stupid mistakes by not paying attention to the details. Operate with urgency, operate with a pace. Some people will say, wow, that guy just has a motor. And that's something I've heard from other colleagues is, wow, that guy just has a motor. He seems to be working harder and he just has a pace. He just has a momentum that he shows up each and every day and delivers with. If you get an email, don't wait. Get back to them immediately. If you have a proposal to send out, get the proposal done, get the pricing out, get that response to your customer or client because as soon as they get that quick response, if you get an email that comes in and you respond within a minute and they see that, they'll say, wow, this guy really cares. He really cares enough to acknowledge me, to get back to me and that follow-up will be contagious. When you operate with that frequency, other people will feel it and more people will want to work with you, especially your customers, because they're not just buying your product or solution because it's the best in the market. They're buying because they trust you. They're buying because they believe you will be able to serve them and be an advocate for them and their brand into the future. Operate with frequency and show up urgent. Feel urgent, feel the pressure, and go for it each and every day. Lean into that and it will pay off, believe me. The sixth trait all great salespeople have in common is that they are adaptable slash lifelong learners. The one commonality working in technology I've experienced is that things are changing. The environment's changing, the product's changing, and you need to adapt with the times, especially as new technology updates come, especially as your customers do new things, especially as your competitors are changing things and how they try and trap set you in the marketplace. The best salespeople are lifelong learners because they're constantly learning more about themselves, learning more about their product, learning more about the company, learning more about the environment, and they're also adapting because as a salesperson working in software sales the last three years, as an SDR, some of the tactics I did early in my career don't necessarily work as well as they do now in 2021, heading into 2022. It's really important to adapt with the times. It's really important to be a lifelong learner and be able to be agile because working in technology, that's gonna be the one commonality is that things are changing and by being a lifelong learner, by always adapting with the times, you will put yourself in the best position possible to find massive success. I hope you enjoyed this list of six traits that all great salespeople have in common. If you're in sales, if you enjoyed the list, if you find some sort of education, inspiration, or just entertainment from this video, please drop a like on the video now. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. Do you have any questions? Are there any traits I missed? And what do you think is important? Because we're starting to build a community of a lot of great salespeople. In the comments, I'm seeing people offer other people jobs. I'm seeing people respond to other people's comments. It's super collaborative. And just by sharing your thoughts down below, I'll read it, I'll get back to you, and other people may be able to help you as well. So I wanna help you. My mission is to elevate salespeople's belief in themselves. We're gonna do that one video at a time. So cheers to the next 400 days of straight videos. Not gonna stop. Thank you so much for the support. See you in the next video. Peace. Oh,